Hello friends, this video on aldehyde, ketones and carboxylic acid part 4 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let's learn how to name ketones. First we'll learn how to name the common names of ketones. So the common names of the ketones are derived by naming the two alkyl or the aryl group bonded. For example, if you see this ketone, I have two alkyl or aryl groups. R and R dash are my two alkyl or aryl groups. So you have to name these two, right? And then you get the name of the ketone. I'll take some examples. And if you have some substituents, then we use this alpha, alpha dash, beta, beta dash. For example, in this case, here left right, you may start with alpha, beta, right side, sorry, alpha dash, beta dash. You take any other sides, doesn't matter. And some ketones have a historical common name, for example, acetone. This is my CH3, COO, CH3. This is called acetone. And this has a historical common name. Alkyl phenyl ketones are generally named by adding acyl groups as a prefix to phenon. Please note for alkyl phenyl ketones we use this phenon. So for this I told the common name is acetone. This is just now I told you this is a historical common name. This guy if you see this will be acetophenone. This is acetophenone. So in common name terms, two carbons are generally called acetose. So it's acetophenone. This is one, two, three, three carbon. So it will be propiophenone. And in this, a benzo group is attached. So it is benzophenone. This is just common name. Please note it's not an IOPC name, it's a common name. Correct? This is S. This is acetone, this has a historical name. This is acetophenone. This is propiophenone, propio groups attached. This is a benzophenone, benzyl group it is that. It's called benzophenone. Now let's learn the IUPAC name of ketone. See, IUPAC name, as I told, is generally derived from alkanes. You take carboxylic acid, you take aldehydes, ketone, alcohol. It's all derived from alkanes. In this case, E is replaced with O and E. And the numbering being begins from the end nearer to the carbonyl group. Same as we had for aldehydes, similar stuff. And same thing here also, the substituents. If you have substituents, you have to uh, use the alphabetical order to write the names. Same thing which you have seen for aldehydes. Example, this is my compound. I have to name this compound. So let's draw the structure first. There's five carbon. The second carbon has oxygen. This is the structure. It has five carbon. Five is pent. So it is pen. It is from pentane. So do one thing. Uh, this E has to remove with own and if you see, I'll number this, I can number this in this fashion, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So in this case, my carbonyl group gets second position. I can number in this fashion, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. In this case, carbonyl group gets fourth position, which is not correct. It has to be lesser. So I'll take this, it will be pentan 2 on. Correct. See, first pentane, because it's derived from alkane called pentane. At second position, I have own group, so it's pentane 2 on. You delete the E and instead of E, use 2 on. So this is pentane 2 on. Correct. Now, in the same, if we have, let's suppose here, bromine or chlorine, so in that case, you can just say 2 methyl or 3 methyl or 3 bromo pentane 2 on. And then the ordering will be alphabetical order. So we have discussed this. A lot in the IUPAC name chapter, so we'll not, not spend much time on this. But we'll take some uh, exercise to practice. 
We have to write common name and IUPAC name both for this compound. So let's me draw this compound first. So this compound is something like this. C H C O O. Yeah, I just remove hydrogen. You can add hydrogen if you want. This is the structure. So for this, the longest chain will be what? This. So we start from here, one, two, three, four, five. Even if I do from the other way around, it's all same because it's symmetrical. You see this compound is symmetrical. So if you number from left to right, right to left, it's all same. So let me write IUPAC name of this. So if I see at two and four, I have a methyl group. So it will be 2,4-dimethyl. This is first. And the long, no other chains I have, no other branch chain or no other substitutions I have. And then I have uh, 5 carbon, so it is pent, pentane actually, all single bond, pent, 5 carbon pent, all single bond in. At 3 I have a carbon group, so 3 O. The name of the compound will be 2,4-dimethylpentane-3O. Hope you understand why. See, at 2 and 4, I have a methyl group, so at 2,4-dimethyl. The longest chain is 5, so it's pent, all single bond, in. At 3, I have carbonyl group, 3 on. Correct? Let me add the common name. So, common name will be what? So, it will be, if you see, this is what? isopropyl right so it is di isopropyl ketone di isopropyl ketone as i told to write the common name what we do is we write the name of the alkyl or aryl group this one and this one and then i use word called ketone so in this case i have two isopropyl groups so it is di iso uh, propyl ketone. Correct. Let's take this example. This is also ketone. Let's write the IUPAC name. So the IUPAC name is, you can put this in green. So this is my carbonyl group. So it will be given the first position, first number in the chain. Second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. Why? If I put it in the anti clockwise direction, is one, two, three, four, five, six, methyl will get sixth position. If I put it in the clockwise direction, methyl will get second position. So this is better. So this is my numbering. We have done a lot of examples for this, so I will not spend much time here. So at two, I have methyl groups, will be two methyl. And the cyclohexane, and since the ketone, I'll put hexanol. Let's write the common name for this. Common name this is my carbonyl compound. So, this is my alpha carbon, that is the carbon attached to the carbonyl compound. Carbon, this is my beta carbon. So it alpha have a methyl group, so it is alpha methyl cyclohexanol. Let's draw this. Let me draw this first for a clarity. This is two carbon attached to one this carbon. It's double bond. There's a hydrogen here, there's oxygen here, and then I have CH3. Let me put all hydrogen. There's no, yeah, there is none, only one carbon here, yes. So if you see my longest chain is this. Correct? I can number in this fashion 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I can number in this fashion, but if I number in this fashion, 1, 2, 3, 4, carbonyl group gets 4th position. If I number in this fashion, 1, 2, 3, 4, carbonyl group gets 2nd position. That is pretty okay. 
So I'll say one, two, three, four, five. This will be my numbering. Now if I see at fourth, I have a methyl group. So first I am writing IUPAC name. Fourth, I have a methyl group. So it will be four methyl. Is there any other substituent? No. And then I have five carbon in this long chain. So pent. Is there a double bond? Yes. At position three. Pent three. In. Why in? Double bond. Had this been triple bond? In. Pent three in. And then the carbonyl group is at two position. Two. So this is the name 4 methyl pen 3 in 2 O. This is my IUPAC name. For common name for this, the common name is mesethyl oxide. And don't ask me why. There is no logic for this, but this is the common name for this. Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality educational videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.